Welcome. Hello, everyone. We have a new Facebook Live today. I'm not cooking, but I'm talking about shape lovers. Um, so I'm going to give a few minutes for people to join. I've got Veronica standing by, who's amazing, and I drive her crazy, poor thing. She's like, she's going like. Anyway, so um, I don't know if you guys know about Shape Lovers. Um, Shape Lovers has been around forever, like literally forever. You hear about all these other delivery companies and everything else. And, you know, it's funny because I think Shape Lovers has been around since 1984, like way before I was born. <laughs> okay, maybe not before I was born, maybe around the time I graduated from high school. And I remember a lot of people like uh, you know that had had you know cousins of mine that had had a bunch of kids and whatever and they would get these little delivery from shape lovers and they would eat it and I know that originally the place was started by somebody it was based on the principles from Weight Watchers which is actually a really great thing because I don't know about you guys but I've tried every fad diet ever In my whole life I've been doing fad diets because I was a really fat baby and then a fat kid and I blame my mother because you know the story back in Cuba, not that I was born here, but in Cuba, the fatter the baby, the more beautiful the baby was, and I was so beautiful, you can't even imagine. So, um, you know how that is when they feed you a lot when you're little, the, the fat cells are there and you can't get rid of them. So, um, I remember going to Weight Watchers as a kid, and then when this came out, I, I did it like, must have been like right after gaining the freshman 15 in college and I lost all that weight and then after I had my kids I had my kids in 1990 and 1991 with Gadi I gained about 60 pounds I know that's unheard of these days because most people gain 15 pounds and I remember my friend Glenda gained like 13 pounds and I would see her with her little bag of grapes and I'm like what is that? She goes, like, grapes, that's what I have. I have 15 grapes. I'm like, what do you mean 15 grapes? What happens if you have like 16 grapes? She's no, I don't have 16 grapes, I have 15 grapes. I've never had that kind of discipline, ever. If I want 20 grapes, I'll eat 20 grapes, so. The idea, you know, then of course I tried, to, tried looking for shortcuts and I started doing all sorts of those chemical reaction diets. I don't know if you guys remember the one where you would have like two, two hot dogs one day and then I know there was one day that you could have an entire pint of vanilla ice cream. Let, let me know if you guys have ever done this one. The one with the pint of vanilla ice cream, that was my favorite. And I, all I did was try to have the pint of vanilla ice cream. And of course, they didn't specify which vanilla ice cream, so I wasn't gonna have like some light ice cream. I was gonna have like haagen full fat, a pint of vanilla ice cream. Needless to say, that diet didn't work either. So, you know, over the years, I've my weight has fluctuated and of course being in the food world that doesn't make it easy being around food all the time doesn't make it easy um, you know cooking and you have to taste things when you cook and also I get invited to a lot of you know these influencer dinners where they're opening new restaurants and then they bring you more food than any human can consume and you have to be nice and polite and of course I want to eat it so um, recently I had gained like eight pounds, eight, 10, maybe it was 10. I had the courage to weigh myself on the day that I didn't feel quite as fat, so it was like eight pounds. Um, and I remember when I was doing uh, like a lot of uh, cooking demonstrations on Telemundo, Mariana, who's the Mariana from Acceso Total, was the, probably the first person I ever did t TV with. And she was always in, looked great and always in great shape, and I would see go to her desk after, and she would always have this little bag. I'm like, what is that? She's like, shape lovers. I'm like. Why is everybody doing the Shape Lovers? I didn't know Shape Lovers was still around. Because, you know, they didn't do that much for advertising. They didn't do that much to kind of let people know that they were there. They have their kind of really uh, consistent client base that have been loyal to them for years and years. Some, you know, older people. And, and so, you know, I decided that I would kind of join forces with them to let people know that this still exists. So I have visited their facility many many times and they are old school as far as you can eat off the floor I mean it is the most pristine kitchen I have ever seen everything is just prepared beautifully they source their ingredients you know from like the best places so um, 
By the way, Veronica, is anybody joining us? Am I talking to myself? No, people have joined us. We have about 16 people online. Oh, okay, tell me who. Um, it's Luis, Paloma, Paul, Ignacio, Jolie, Virginia, uh, Ligia, Steven, of course, Chip. Chip! Um, Shout out to Chip. Maggie. Maggie yeah, Rivero. Uh, yeah, Maggie Rivero. Oh, Rivero. Yeah, Rivero. Dagmar <laughs> says hello. Hello. Guys, um, any questions you have, I will answer them. Feel free to interrupt me. I was telling my dieting story and shape lovers that's been around forever and why I'm doing this with them now. Um, so anyway, if, if you guys have done any fad diets over the years, I want to know about it because I've tried them on. I want to see if I'm the only one. I know that I did that cabbage diet. Oh my God. It was the most awful thing. I almost passed out. My house smelled like the Dickens because there's nothing worse than the smell of cabbage. Anyway, so, um, so anyway, Finally, I, I was like, I didn't even know this thing still existed, and I decided to, you know, start working with them. I went over there, like I was saying, everybody there, it's a family-owned business. They really just, I mean, everything is measured. Everything is, you know, the nutritional values. They're so adamant about it, and that's the kind of thing that I won't do for myself. But the greatest part about all this, you would think, like, why would you want somebody to deliver food from you when you're such a good cook? Well. I added that I'm such a good cook, but first of all, I don't have time. And and it's, it wasn't so much about weight. I started worrying about, you know how I'm an insomni insomniac? One of the things I worry about the most is what disease do I have this week? So when I can't sleep, I go on WebMD and I don't know, I've had everything from TMJ to you know, a 24 hour tumor. I mean, I don't, and, and I'm not mocking this because I know there are people that are seriously ill, but I know that I do a lot of things wrong with my nutrition, like a lot. I will confess here, I am a sugar addict. I mean, it's not even funny. Uh, and considering that there's diabetes in my family, it's a really scary thing. So I can't be trusted around sugar. I can't be trusted around simple carbs. And <laughs> I don't make good choices sometimes. You know, you would think, oh, you know, she cooks, she, whatever, she's probably always making, yes, I do make some healthy meals, but then it's not what I eat. Because for some reason, when I cook it, I'm not that interested in eating it because I've been smelling it and tasting it. So, so this just, that's the initial reason. The real reason why I started this was because I really was concerned about my health. I, you know, I'm always tired. I didn't sleep well. And I thought, you know, food is the biggest drug of all. There is nothing like your nutrition to help you feel better. And so that's why I started doing it. And, you know, and it was a no-brainer. They deliver it to my door. It's portion controlled. All the nutrition is there. I just have to heat it up and eat it. So so I did that and um, I started this thing. It's like a 26 day challenge that they started. And it was kind of really fun because I went and worked with some personal trainers to develop like a short little workout plan and if you want to look, you go to shapelovers.com, you can see the embarrassing little video of me and two really in shape trainers, Marissa and, um, oh God, Mike, Mike, <laughs> Mike and Marissa, M&M. They don't let you eat M&Ms, but uh, they're great, amazing. And, you know, they taught me a lot of things and I, I kept doing it myself whenever I could. And uh, I don't know what day we're on of the 26 day challenge. I've I had gained recently like eight pounds, like I told you. I've lost six of them. Um, I I want to lose maybe, I don't know, maybe another six, eight, I don't know. Because, you know, when you get older, it's you have to choose between your face and your butt, they say. And so I'm always, there's that, there's that certain part of me that's always going to be Cuban. So, and I don't know, some people like it, it's okay. So I'm, I'm going to live with that, but I feel better. I feel healthier and and I've lost some weight in the process without making huge sacrifices. These meals come through, you know, every day you get lunch and dinner and it is really a lot of food. You know, you get a lot of bang for your buck, but you also get a lot of bang for your buck calorie wise. Um, you could never imagine that it's, there's, there's such few calories in, in all this kind of volume of food. So I'm, I'm just, I've been really thrilled with that. And, um, you know, the, the byproduct of it was losing these six pounds, which, you know, I feel great and, you know, I'm going to continue. But I loved that 
all the people that did this 26 day challenge or that are still doing it, um, they, um, we all communicated on a um, WhatsApp uh, call. So we had, it was kind of like having a coach and like a support system. So we would communicate with each other. The, the trainers would tell us different things. You would ask them questions. You know, I would say, can I eat these Snick the Snickers bar? And they would say like, no. So, you know, the fact that I was able to lose six pounds in whatever it was for me, I think it was 18 days. And on the weekend, I was not good. I have to be honest, I wasn't good. Uh, I created some recipes for them, um, for, for people that are doing obviously the weekend on their own. And I think you can also find those recipes and they're really good and easy on the Sh uh, Shape Lovers website. Uh, but sometimes I had outings and I had to see, sit down dinners and 10 course meals and you know, I couldn't be rude to the chefs that would invite me. So I ate them. So the fact that I was able to lose that despite, you know, uh, not being totally on on like the program perfectly is is very it's really like a testament to how great it is um say so anybody question no questions um no questions at all just a lot of compliments no questions a lot mm -hmm. of what compliments like what like you look great Aww. Um, thank you your sense of humor is delightful everybody thanks so much everybody's, God, so nice. you guys. everybody's being nice today yeah, that's so nice i swear that makes me so happy all right so let me show you a couple of things this is how the meals look when you get them every day this is just one meal this is lunch only um and then every day it's different go to the website and you can see uh the different kinds of things you have a choice of different things um, and, and it, you know, the greatest thing, there's dessert, there's always dessert, dessert, look how cute, like how yummy is this, like I, the dessert is always on top, and I'm one of those people that like life is uncertain, eat dessert first, it's look so that cute. little strawberry tart, like how them. awesome, so you get that, I have some potatoes here, I have lunch and I have dinner, a soup, there's always like a soup or un potaje, and then there's like the entree, which in this case is a fish with like a salmon with a dill sauce. So, I mean, that's a lot of food, that's one meal. So they are also doing a Mother's Day special now. And I think we're gonna try to do another get back in summer uh, or get into summer shape. I forgot what they said they were gonna call it. One of those um, kind of, what is it that they call it? Like a. Veronica, help me. Oh, summer's around the corner. Yeah, summer's around the corner, Get and it's kind summer. of like a challenge, right? So I'm going to do that one again. So if you guys join that, and I'll let you know when that is. We'll get on a WhatsApp together, and we'll, you know, do all that together, because even though I'm happy with the weight that I've lost so far, um, I want to lose more because, you know, in the summer, come on, we all need that. What is worse than trying on a bathing suit? Ladies, what is worse than trying on a bathing suit? At the mall or at any store with those fluorescent lights I mean it's like it's get ready for summer That's the... it's get it's called get ready for summer okay but can we talk about the lights in the fitting room yeah. okay well anyway thank God that whole pieces are back super in style um, so but right now they have the shape lovers Mother's Day giveaway so you give them your mom uh, uh, the gift of two weeks of not having to cook two weeks of nutrition two weeks of getting in shape uh, you get three three course meal uh, Monday through Friday for a total of ten meals, and then what they're doing is they're doing a um, like a little giveaway, right? So if you post a photo of a deserving mother uh, with the hashtag Shape Lovers Giveaway and tag at Shape Lovers in your post, and make sure that the post is set to public, and then your mom could win these two weeks of meals. And then the mom will also receive from me a collection of all the new skinny Latina sauces, including the original million dollar marinade. So they'll get all that. All you have to do is post a photo of your very, just all our moms are deserving, but it's gonna be picked at random. Uh, hashtag shape lovers giveaway and tag at shape lovers and make sure it's set to public. So if you're wondering what to get your mother for Mother's Day and your mother's been complaining, oh, you know, I don't want to cook or I've gained five pounds or, you know, how our moms are, this is a great idea for them. 
Um, and then, of course, I'll let you know when we're doing the summer thing as well, because I'm excited about that. I'm going to keep doing it in the meantime, and hopefully I'll lose a few more pounds. Um, and it is order at shapelovers.com if you want any details. The winner for the giveaway will be announced on Friday. This Friday? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, guys, go right now. Take a picture of your mom, I'm your real mom. It. Not a fake. Veronica, you can't. You, <laughs> you're like... Can Veronica do it? Shape lovers, people? I don't know. I'm a person of interest. You're a person of interest. Um, Whatever that means. <laughs> so, let's see. What else can I tell you? Do you want to show how it looks plated? Oh, yeah. I want to show how plated. it looks plated. And I want to... Nobody has any questions for me. Guys, make up a question because I'm feeling a little lonely over here. Oh, okay. So, here's, here's my dinner. So, we've got a soup. Is this pumpkin or is this... Uh, it looks like butternut squash. Butternut squash soup, a chocolate. It's like a mocha coffee that, flan. That looks like almond butter on top. Is this almond butter? It looks like almond butter. A chicken with like a parmesan and then green beans and mushrooms. This is my dinner. I mean, and you can lose weight eating this. I oh, mean, this Denise is, is asking if you do the workouts for Shape Lovers I for do. the challenge. I do. Uh, the workouts are great. If you go on the website, you can see it. Don't repost it, please, because I swear I look ridiculous next to those people and whatever. I had to do, you know, they had like, they had like workouts, right, for like normal people. And then like I m m injured, I fell off a horse once like a long time ago. So I have a broken tailbone. So my, a lot of my exercises were adapted for like loser use, I guess. I don't know. But um, anyway, you can you can look at them. Uh, and yes, I do them. I, I don't do them every day. Sometimes I'll just go for a walk. Sometimes I, I get on this thing that's like, what is that thing that I have that's like a, it's like a half circle. Oh, the bozu. What's it called? Bozu. Bozu. I don't know. It was in the house that I bought, so I kept it. And I, you stand on it and it engages your core and I'll use these elastic things and you know, it's just about toning and doing something and sweating a little bit every day. My favorite thing is to take long walks. Sometimes I get bored and I'll start running. Um, I don't love the idea of running after a certain age because one time I was in front of a, um, what do you call it, in front of a mirror on a treadmill and I noticed that while I'm running my face is going like this and, and that can't be good. We have a suggestion. The What's elliptical? Suggestion? Things don't bounce in the elliptical. Oh yeah, the elliptical is a good idea. I used to have an elliptical, but I don't have one anymore. But yes, at the gym they have, uh, the elliptical is a good idea. I get bored, you know, I get bored and I like to be outside. So, uh, what kind of exercise do all my friends do? Mm, we have see. walkers, runners. I don't want to hear about anybody doing like an Ironman. Oh yeah. Because no. I'll have to unfriend you. No overachievers. I don't. One day I'll tell you guys the story of the triathlon I did when I turned 40 because I thought it was a great idea and you know how much I love to challenge myself. I almost drowned and um, it's a funny story but I have to tell you that story one day. I'm going to get my brother to come with me on a Facebook Live and tell you the story. Cause Ooh, Denise plays tennis. Of course she does. Denise is now weighing, ever since she started with Shape Lovers, she's like weighs 12 pounds but she looks great. There's a lot of people have had an enormous success with shape And Dagmar is like you. She walks and runs. Right. She's into walking and running. Right. Me too. I will, I will walk and then at the end I'll, I'll see my house and I'm like, I'm going to run. You know, it's, it's do whatever you can. It's like just do something every day. We have a success story from Denise. She yes. Lost 18 me. pounds with shape lovers and exercise. Who was it? Her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. She looks great. Post a picture, Denise. Can you post for my Facebook friends a before and after? Not that you were so fat before, but you're really skinny now. You look great. She looks so young. Being being skinnier makes you look younger, and being, uh, I think, blonder makes you look younger. It's my <laughs> story. But anyway, um, I will continue to answer your questions on the Facebook Live, so you know you can if you if you're joining us late, we're talking about shape lovers and my experience and the fun stuff coming up. I'll keep you posted about the summer. Get hot for get hot for summer. I will keep you posted on that. Post the picture of your mom. Remember, hashtag is shape lovers giveaway. Tag at shape lovers. Make sure it's public. Post a really pretty picture of your mom, and they will announce the winner Friday. And not only will she get the two weeks of meals, she'll get a whole collection of skinny Latina sauces and 
we'll stay in touch and of course I will continue answer, to answer any questions that you have as always I love you guys thank you for always supporting me and listening and um, till next time